Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome back to what could be our final episode of our Carolina Hurricanes franchise mode and our final episode or final video of NHL 18. So in last episode we had an insane season simulation as you can see we finished with a record 63, 16 and 3 which was like my best um, ever like season simulation in any GM mode that I've ever had before. So Hopefully that could continue into the playoffs and hopefully we're not a first round exit team like it happens a lot. I'm hoping we could at least go to the Stanley Cup Finals or the Conference Finals to end off this GM mode. That would be huge, but this could be still our last episode. So I already showed you guys the Rangers lines, but I'll show you guys it again. For the most part, they are a very solid team all around in terms of everything. Uh, their goaltending could be a bit better, but as you can see with this forward core, especially the centers, uh, that is really strong. It's stronger than ours even, and ours is like really strong. And then their wingers are also pretty good. Defensively, they're strong because they got Rasmus Dallin and a couple other good guys. This Baron guy is even growing. He'll probably be like a 90-something overall defenseman in a couple years. And yeah, just a really good team all around even with Bobkov as a starter, but their backup could be better in Tristan Jerry, but it's still not too bad. And then they got some solid depth as well. So I'm kind of scared because I feel like we're going to get outsted in the first round. And um, even after we just had a really good season simulation, but let's hopefully like hope that that's not the case and hope that this series will continue on for maybe another episode or two, maybe even three. So Game number one, we got home ice obviously throughout the entire playoffs. Let's see if we could get uh, ahead of ourselves and or get ahead in this series or something like that. Not get ahead of ourselves. First period, and it is one nothing for the Rangers. Rose Hill, who I think was on their second line, comes through, makes it one nothing for them. Shots are sixteen to twelve, also in favor of the Rangers. Come on, guys, let's answer back. We could do it. And it is 2-0 Rangers going into the third. That is not good. Plant makes it 2-0. Shots are 30-16 to in favor of the Rangers. Come on, guys. We need to answer here in this third period. If we lose game one, that is not a good way to start it off considering we just had a 63-win season. And we only lost like a total of something less than 20 games between the season. So Wenberg makes it 3-0. So we're going to lose game one pretty badly which we shouldn't have really but if we could like i'm not going to change up our lines just yet i'm not going to i'm going to wait till like game three probably um but yeah our offense needs to come through more at least in this playoffs insert and our defensive uh performance was not the greatest either because we allowed a lot of shots 35 shots to 30 or yeah 35 saves for ulanov so Ulnov, good game, but everybody else needs to play better. We can't just rely on Ulnov because he did it all during the regular season. He might not have the greatest playoff simulation this year because he might be really tired from playing like 69 games, I think it was. So game number two, guys, we need to answer back with a win here. If we lose, though, I am going to be changing up the lines a bit. Even though that will maybe screw up with our chemistry a bit, we have to change up the lines if we lose this game. So... Game number two, let's not lose another home game. Let's tie the series going back to New York. First period, and it is scoreless, so we still have no goals throughout four periods of play. That is not good, and that's unlike our team at all. Shots are 15-8 to eight in favor of us. Second period, there you go. Two goals for us, Rod Fritz and Clarence Orr make it 2 nothing for us after two. Now we'll just lock it down here in the third period. It looks like Olnov is going to have a bounce back game because he did just have a really good regular season. And then that last game, he was actually decent. Like 35 saves is pretty good. Unfortunately, he didn't get a star. Last five minutes of the third period, and they're going to pull within one Donahue. Come on, guys, just hold them off. And we are going to do just that, and we have tied the series headed back to the Madison Square Garden. Okay, so let's take a look at the player stats. So Fritz from Poye and Malone, so the first line, and Orr from Poye. Three stars of the game, Ulnov with 31 saves, Bobkov with 36 of his own, and Poye the third star. It's a battle of the Russian goaltenders right now, I don't unless Bobkov's from like Kazakhstan or some shit. 
So let's get into game number three. If we lose this game and we don't score a lot, uh, I am going to make line changes because we only have basically one goal for per game on average right now. So we definitely need to play better. So here you go, game number three. Now we're in New York, first period, and it is 1-1. Both first lines coming through, Plant for them, and Malone ties it up for us late. Shots are pretty even, 11-10. Second period, and it is two to one for the Rangers. Their first line coming through again, and it's Plant with his second in the night and third, I think, of the series. Come on, guys, we need to have a strong third period here. Or else I'm gonna be making line changes because we are not scoring at all. Like this is potentially the third game where we only have scored basically one goal for on average, and Soldier makes it three to one. Oh, this is not looking good. Last game, we just squeaked away with a win, and now they're going to take a 2-1 series lead, and they still have home ice, technically, so we'll win the next game. They could take a 3-1 series lead, so our only goal was Malone from Hannafin and Poya, so the only thing that seems to be working right now for us is our first line. Like, our offense is just dr dried up completely. Like, I guess they played way too good during the regular season. So we are going to make some line changes for this game because this is a critical game. If we tie the series up, we have a chance. If we don't, we don't have a chance probably. So let's take a look at our lines. What could we do to like change the uh, complexion of the series? So, hmm. Corrado is a sniper. We can move Corrado up. I think Playfair had a decent faceoff, 72. How was Korea? 71. So Playfair could play center. And then Korea on, or on the wings, Corrado moves up because he's a sniper. He could play alongside of Godfrey and Grantham. Power play lines, we could always change up those as well. Um, hmm. We could always put, who was it? Take or off of it. Yeah, let's take or off to the power play for now. And then put in, who is it? Corrado because he's a sniper. Um, yeah, I think that might be all I want to do because we've been playing good defensively. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the line changes I'm going to make for now. So it's a bit risky changing up those lines, but hopefully that helps us get this series tied. Because if we tie up the series, then, like I said, we have a chance to, like, take the series lead back on home base. Okay, so here we go, game number four. Can we take a, or t not take a 3-1 series lead, tie the series at two, headed back home? That is what we need here. We need a W first period, and it's one nothing us. Nicely done, Rod Fritz. So the first line still scoring our goals, it seems like. Nobody else, though. Second period, and it is 2-1 us. So Cedric play fair, gets moved to center, and he picks up a goal. Spot check has pulled the Rangers within one, but we need one period of play where we just like limit their offense and we get a lot of offense ourselves. So come on guys, let's get an insurance marker. Five minutes into the third and Poye scores and it is three to one for us. That's a huge goal from Marcel Poye. He's been playing actually really good so far. And then Rose Hill is going to pull the Rangers back within one. Come on guys, lock it down. Power play. And we don't get it done there. Last five minutes of the third period. And there you go. Poya gets an empty netter. And we have tied the series going back home. So that is a huge win. Now we like the home ice basically shifts to our home ice. If we win next game, we have a chance to take out the Rangers in their home arena. So three stars of the game, Poya with three points, Malone with three points, and Ulnov the third star. So the first line and Ulnov are the only reasons probably why we've got wins in the series. So let's see if we could get some more depth points, like from our third or fourth line, maybe even second line too. So here you go. Game number five. This is probably the biggest game so far. So let's see if we could take a 3-2 series lead, or will they? First period, and it's one nothing us, and it's the youngster Ross Bus coming through with his first ever playoff goal. Shots are seven to six in favor of the Rangers. Second period, and it is two one us. Colton Spiller makes it two nothing, but Junior Rathji is going to pull the Rangers within one. The shots are still in our advantage, seventeen to thirteen. Come on, boys, let's just get an insurance marker and lock down this game. 
and have a chance to take this series in New York. Power play for us, and it's a really long one too. Unless the simulation is just going slow, and now they have a power play, and we kill it off. Stop taking penalties, guys. There you go, nicely done. And there's a power play again for us. We still don't score on it. Last little bit, and we are going to take a 3-2 series lead headed back to New York. So we're now using that home ice to our advantage. So bus from Ward and Malone, Spiller from Godfrey and Hannafin. So there we go. We got some death points. Our first line did not come through, but uh, another great performance from Ulanov. And we are one game away from going to the second round. Come on, boys. Let's just keep it up. One more game, and we are off to the round two. Here we go. Back at the Madison Square Garden. Let's see if we can get this done here. First period. And it's 2 nothing us. And it's the first line again. Fritz and Poye. Both with goals. Let's see if we could just keep it up here in the second. And we are going to do just that. A nice period from Ulnov. Shots are 25-15 to 15 in favor of us. And we lead 2 nothing. Let's just lock this down here in this third period. And ride it off into round number 2. If we can last 10 minutes of the third period power play for us we don't score on it we still have a huge shot advantage last five minutes of the game and your carolina hurricanes are off to the second round of the playoffs as play fair gets a goal late to make it a win three nothing for us another great performance from ulnov too so play from Grantham, Fritz from Malone and Poye. So yeah, that first line, it was just the main reason why we won that series. And then play fair from Orr in Korea. Three stars in that game, Ulnov, Poye, and Fritz. Okay, so now let's take a look at a player stats throughout the first round. Sorry if I'm sounding like I'm stuttering right now. It's because the heat is literally like ridiculously bad, so... Let's take a look at our player stats, and then we'll see who we're up against in the second round of the playoffs. So, yeah, Poye was on fire 8 points in 6 games. So, yeah, definitely that first line is the reason why we won, and I didn't mean to go to the player stats for the season. We wanted to go to the playoff stats, so there you go, player stats. So, yeah, Poye and Malone both over a point per game, 8 and 7, so that's why... And then Fritz with four points, Spiller with three, and Hannafin with three, everybody else two and below. And in terms of goaltending, Ulanov was four and two with one shot and a 941 save percentage and a 1.68. So he's continuing on what he did during the regular season. Okay, so finally, let's take a look at who we're playing against in the second round of the playoffs. And then that will be it for this episode. Hopefully we could just win a couple more series and then like the GM mode will end probably on like August 31st I'm figuring. I'm recording this still in July so I'm just trying to get a lot of stuff done because with work and whatnot I just want to have everything like out when it's supposed to be out. So this should be almost the end of the series for both teams. I think we face either the Flyers or the Blue Jackets because... The Blue Jackets and the Flyers were like the, the like the matchup that was like right above ours, so we might have to face Philadelphia again, which would not be uh, uncommon because we faced them a lot of times. And then Blue Jackets we faced just like two years ago. So who are we playing? It is going to be the Philadelphia Flyers. So another matchup between these two teams. Literally, we've played each other like seven times now in the postseason. So. Uh, let's see if Ulnov could actually beat out Carter Hart in next episode for sure. I'm assuming they're still pretty similar to what they have been on like defense and whatnot. Okay, so they got Perlini, Patrick, and Del Cole. So a solid first line, but pretty old first line. Second line, you got Danielson, Konechny, and Elias Lindholm still there. Third line, Shannon Pronger with Terry Gite and Pascal Degg. Fourth line, Ryan Wang, Jake Gensel, and Riley Sutter. So, they're a solid team all around, like, balanced in lines and whatnot. Defensively, they still have Provorov, Horchuk, Horkov, and Goss's Bear from when we last played them. Not a surprise. And then they got McCowan, who's our former defenseman. I guess he found a home there. And Madison Bowie. In terms of goaltending, Carter Hart's still there, but he is dropping off. He's down to an 87 now. And Kakinen is the backup. 
Scratch, they have Connor Sheary, Oleg Tiganov, and Torsten Oland. So overall-wise, I definitely think we have the defensive upper hand, even though they have three really good defensemen, because we got better depth defensively. In terms of offense, I think we're pretty balanced. And in goaltending-wise, I think uh, Ulanov definitely beats out Carter Hart, and I know for sure that uh, Sharp beats out Kakinen. So I think we have a chance to go to the conference finals. But I'm not going to underestimate Philadelphia because they've been a really good team the last few years as well. So anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of our Carolina Hurricanes franchise mode. So next episode, we will take on the Philadelphia Flyers in round number two. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.